Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have yet again something from Scarpa. Yes, let's open up the box and see what we got because today we have some more climbing shoes from Scarpa. And these are, they're very popular, Force V Rock climbing shoes. Check this out. If you prefer to have some Velcro straps, Instead of your standard lace, that's a pretty good option right here. Let me tell you guys, very, very comfortable. As you guys can see, not as aggressive. So this is very beginner friendly, very gym friendly. If you want something that you can climb in all day without taking them off, this is a pretty good option right here. But if you are really, really are interested in getting these, make sure to stick around throughout the whole review because we're going to discuss everything in great detail. Yes, this review is specifically for my ultimate climbing shoes section. So let's get into it. Criteria number one that we make the judgment on is, of course, the comfort level. And let me tell you guys, as I already said, these are designed more towards the comfort in mind without really sacrificing that much performance. So for the beginner, I would highly recommend something like this, something like this, meaning not as aggressive, not as uh, angled as much, not as stiff. So you won't really be. I mean, you still be able to do some technical stuff, right? But not as crazy, not as advanced, which is completely fine because well, you're a beginner, all right? So you're still learning, you're still training. In fact, that probably shoe like this will allow you to be in the gym longer, considering that you will be much more comfortable in something like this if you're starting with something like this. Okay, so let's get into some details about the comfort level. A few things that contribute to the comfort level. The first one will be, of course, the weight. And let me grab my scale. I have it handy over here. This right here is size... 11 yes just wanted to make sure yes this is definitely size 11 so let's see how light weight these are but yeah these are super lightweight but uh hmm, i would say probably somewhere around 9.5 well, let's see if i'm let's see if i'm even close well 11.2 so i kind of uh under underrated so 11.2 so these are a little bit on the heavier side obviously you would get a little bit of more weight from the straps compared to your regular lacing system right with your with your regular lace um usually i say that you kind of want to try to find something under 10 ounce 11.2 is not much heavier but keep in mind these do run a little bit on the heavier side if we are really really picky on the weight Still, 11.2, not a big deal, but just something for you to keep in mind. Nevertheless, nevertheless, like I said, with that weight, you're getting the straps. Uh, much more easier to put these on, take them off, all right? Much easier to tighten them. You don't spend that much time putting these on, so pretty good. Another thing that adds to the weight, but also adds to the comfort, is all the padding that you can find in the shoe. And this is probably one of the better qualities, especially for the beginner, because you kind of do want to feel a little bit more comfortable compared to something that you're getting that is more aggressive, more pro level, more advanced. Here, as you can see, the tongue is very nicely padded throughout the whole tongue, going all the way to the very front, all right? You also do have padding over here in the shaft. Well whatever there is of the shaft not much of it but this is right here as you can see it's very nicely padded and you can definitely feel it i mean after if you compare these uh, like right next to something that is more aggressive like for example la sportiva solution excellent shoe fantastic shoe for if you are doing technical stuff fantastic shoe but comfort level wise if you compare this to solution Man, you're gonna see the huge, huge difference. After like 30 minutes, in these, you'll be still concentrating on the wall. In the solution, you will be concentrating in the pain in your feet, which again, you have to compromise that comfort if you wanna do some technical stuff, but if you're a beginner, yeah, okay. So you do have padding in the shaft, going in the heel, heel is nicely, padded as well and overall i mean you have the suede leather throughout the whole shoe overall feels very nice very comfortable so overall on the comfort level yes you do 
have a few extra ounce on you, an ounce or two, uh, but with that a little bit of extra weight, obviously you have very nice padding and you have a very easy to put on and take off straps. Okay, so let's move on to the criteria number two, quality. So quality wise, like I said, these are very, I mean, Scarpa shoes in general, whenever it comes to climbing, especially, um, although I tested a few hiking shoes from Scarpa as well, and they were absolutely fantastic. So Scarpa seems to be very consistent whenever it comes to the quality. I mean, the shoes that I use on a daily basis for my climbing, are from Scarpa, it's a Scarpa Helix, so, <laughs> and I love them, I love them quite a lot. And they're very similar to these, except mine, they have the normal lacing system instead of the strap. Although I have to say, I, I really do enjoy the convenience of having the Velcro strap. But quality-wise, if you wanna check Amazon reviews, uh, there's over 60 ratings and almost five stars. The Amazon link is in the description below. If you wanna check it out, I highly suggest you, uh, Check them out but quality wise in my experience scar scarp i have been spot on okay so let's move on to the criteria number three design features usually here i talk about the lacing system here we have the strap system i do like the strap system very much as you can see the very front strap as you can see the velcro is here actually is widened so that you can select different angle of strapping, whether you're doing it like this or you're doing it like that, okay? And sometimes it helps on, on, on different routes on what depends on what you are uh, working on. Uh, the top strap, I really like the fact that this right here is kind of lower down and as you can see, it's a little bit free roaming here so that basically what it does is this part of uh, the strap holder, it does not press into your foot. And this is definitely very, very important because I've seen some shoes that do that and it creates a pressure point that takes away from the comfort level. Not the case here and in this shoe. So overall, great job there, Scarpa. Okay, so let's move on to the criteria number four, probably one you were waiting for because it's very important, <laughs> it's the outsole. And uh, here, as you can see, we have a uh, Vibram XS Edge. Now, this is a very, very popular outsole for uh, a lot of different climbing shoes. It's very nicely balanced between being stiff and flexible at the same time. Obviously, the stiffer the outsole, the more d it is designed for technical stuff. So being balanced is, is pretty good, again, for the beginner. If you're starting up, you're still kind of getting used to, getting adjusted to just climbing in general. But at the same time, this shoe does not limit you from trying some complicated, a little bit more, something outside of your comfort zone stuff. All right, so overall pretty good another thing that i really really like about this outsole is that it, as you can see it's brushed through the hole the rubber is brushed throughout the whole outsole going all the way up to the heel which i think is fantastic um most of the times you will find shoes where the outsole is just at the front at the back or just at the front so it's it kind of limits you in a little bit now i know most of the times you're not going to be using the, the the middle of um of your foot for climbing but it's still i think personally just just for me i think it's nice to have knowing that if you do need to use it you can you have it and of course you do have a little bit of the extension rubber going at the very front so if you do want to play around with some toe hooks you can pretty awesome okay so let's move on to the criteria number five breathability obviously you're not going to be super nice and breathable because after all this is leather and leather is known to be not very breathable <laughs> so get get used to that but on the plus side the parts that are padded over here, the padding itself does create a little bit of a roominess and that roominess kind of creates that breathability. So some of the parts of the shoe add that breathability. So overall, I would say it's pretty nicely balanced overall. Okay, so let's talk about the criteria number six really quickly, sizing. Well, if you're familiar with climbing shoes, you know that they all run small, all right? I would recommend starting a whole size bigger than your normal shoe size. So if your normal shoe size is 10, get these in size 11, they will still be very tight, believe me. And they're supposed to be. It's just it really comes down to personal 
pain tolerance preference because the tighter the shoes are on your foot the more technical stuff you will be able to do but because these are beginner friendly this are you know more comfort oriented you don't want to start too tight so that's why i say get a whole size bigger and then you will decide for yourself do you want to go a half a size smaller for just super tight fitment or do you want to go half a size bigger for something even more comfortable even more relaxed fit but keep in mind shoes are supposed to be climbing shoes they're supposed to be very tight they're supposed to be small on your foot i mean if you look at the amazon review sometimes you find people complaining about oh these run small and they give a negative rating which is terrible please don't do that <laughs> <laughs> because these are supposed to be small okay so let's move on to the criteria number seven climbing applications i already mentioned that throughout the whole review yes these are more beginner friendly these are more comfort oriented probably more for the gym than the outdoors um but again if you're doing the easier outdoors climbs that are you know taller walls longer climbs you're going to be wearing something for you know for, for a few hours this is pretty good because this is comfort oriented so by the end of the climb you're not going to be all in pain all crying because <laughs> because your feet hurt no this is this is this is not going to be the case here because these are more comfort oriented which i do prefer honestly i do prefer uh, you know it's nice to have a, a good aggressive really really aggressive tai chu for something hardcore if you're working on something for like 15 30 minutes right uh but for just enjoying an outdoors climb or just enjoying a long session in the gym i would definitely go with with uh something like this really it comes down to um this shoe really at the end of the day comes down to if you prefer scarpa brand and if you like straps that's it that, that, that's really it and the very last criterion here criterion number eight really quickly the price 158.99 actually 95 so 160 bucks currently on amazon now the prices may vary depending on the size that you pick depending on the seller that it is uh, 160 dollars definitely fair for this price you're getting a quality beginner shoe and uh, one thing that i wanted to mention in this review is that just because it is beginner friendly comfort friendly shoe it doesn't mean that it's it's you know quality wise it's lower quality or something like that no this is if you want to get a quality beginner shoe this is it right here this is probably as good as it gets there there is some competition in that price range from brands like black diamond uh adidas but again at the end of the day it comes down to the brand trust brand which which brand you have been wearing which brand do you trust um honestly i trust i, I tried so many brands so i trust all of them <laughs> they're all great in a way they all have certain things so at the end of the day it comes down to brand fitness because some shoes just fit you better so try them try as many shoes as as you can as you possibly can find it will be the best um but for 160 dollars i think that's definitely definitely pr fair price for everything that you're getting in this shoe so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this shoe what do you think about this review if you found this review useful please consider subscribing that will definitely be helpful as it is a still growing channel if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be happy to address them Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Ultimate Survival Gear. I'll see you guys in the next video.